Hello to all and welcome on the Watches TV and happy to share with you today our very first unboxing video of the year with a special timepiece. And no, it's not my birthday, so no special gift unwrapping for this one, as it again doesn't belong to me, unfortunately, but belongs to a very special person that I admired for many years. And it's not every day that we talk about watch customization on our channel, but this one is indeed uh, quite special. So let's not waste any time and let's open this very elegant wooden box. And what do we have inside? As you can most uh, certainly uh, recognize quite fast, this does look like a Daytona, but this one is fully customized by Artisan de Genève, a pretty unique independent workshop here, which as you can expect is neither affiliated nor authorized by Rolex, just to be totally clear about this. And they specialized in customizing existing models, meaning beyond Rolex too. But instead of uh, just putting a bit of DLC coating here and there or changing colors, they take the extra step by actually modifying quite a few things depending on the will of their customers. But I'll get back to this in a second. So beside uh, the watch, you have a special magnifier glass here on the side. Uh, papers uh, found in the tray uh, below. Uh, and a special bracelet, but I'll get back to this also. So this uh, personalization was commissioned by a racing legend, at least for my generation, Mr. Mika Hakkinen, double Formula One world champion, a pilot who had suffered a very severe racing accident and fell in a coma for a couple of weeks. And no one knew how or if he could recover from this, but he did and magnificently too. So one of those uh, amazing and in inspiring comebacks in sporting history and demonstrating his immense uh, willpower. And I say this uh, despite the fact that I was more of a Schumacher uh, fan at the time, but nevertheless, I really liked Mika Hacken and he was a really cool dude and probably still is. So, okay, we'll stop uh, with my little uh, groupy talk and let's talk watches. So this is really Mika Hakkinen's personal watch. And as you can see, he requested quite a lot of changes, a total reinterpretation of the original model. So let's start uh, with the dial side. And it's been seriously open worked with a nice deep gray color and is partly held in place uh, with these screws and bolts, but their function is more of a design one and accentuating the mechanical dimension of the watch. So the anthracite uh, colored bezel is made out of uh, titanium with a special grainy uh, finishing, a technique actually uh, patented by uh, Artisan de Genève, a bezel onto which you will find the tachymeter scales. I mean, that's something normal uh, coming from a racing driver, but the design particularity comes uh, with the colors used for the inscription with this orange and light blue color scheme, colors that really work well together and something you will also find on other elements such as the hands of the chrono subdials, naturally also open worked, orange on the tip of the center uh, second hand. And I think this uh, dial side, uh, which is inspired by the design of a racing steering wheel, expresses a lot of uh, technicality with these many different materials, these different types of finishing, this uh, see-through aspect. And at the same time, it's quite elegant. I mean, you can definitely wear this on a sporty uh, or a casual occasion, but also with a suit. Uh, not that I wear that uh, many that often anymore, but I think it works too. So another thing I do like is to be able to directly see the, the barrel spring, especially when you wind the watch, because yes, this is no automatic watch. They removed the rotor, which uh, you would normally find on the original version. And this is now indeed a manually hand wound uh, watch. Uh, that's pretty cool. And it holds 72 hours of power reserve. And I really have to say that I like how they modified the crown with this uh, little cutout in the middle and this orange color reminder. I mean, that's really super cool. But most importantly, by making it hand wound, uh, this has freed up space uh, when you look at it from the case side and it lets you see much better the amount of work they put in the movement in terms of uh, details, uh, finishing techniques. Uh, and this, uh, thanks to another distinct feature of this reinterpretation, with this uh, full sapphire glass. And for info, the entire case back is also made out of titanium with these uh, special uh, engraved inscription. Well, I mean, all in all, I think the result is really pretty cool and very original. I had already seen a few of these modified watches by Artisan de Genève. I personally uh, really like the customization made uh, for Juan Pablo Montoya, another great driver. But having in my hands the watch that one of my heroes will get back uh, makes this little moment even more special and unique. So thank you, Mr. Hakkinen. And thanks for the inspired input you gave these guys because the result is uh, I mean, again, truly cool. And uh, just the last information, I mean, he wanted to be able to change uh, the bracelet. Reason why you will find 
in the box uh, another uh, bracelet coming in leather with a special double uh, folding clasp also specially developed uh, by this uh, workshop and lastly well he won't only receive his own and totally unique piece but he will also receive his own uh, watchmaker's blouse uh, with his personal name on it and I hope we'll be able to see a pic of him with it, with the eyeglass, of course. So if you want to have your own piece, well, I guess you can ask, uh, you can always ask Artisan de Genève to take care of you. Uh, and this is it for this unboxing of the day. Thanks for watching and viva watchmaking and viva Mika Hakkinen. All the best. See you real soon. Bye.